Recently, I received a lot of requests on how to calculate the center of mass and center of rigidity. So basically, I previously explained that how to calculate center of mass. If you visit the channel, you see the complete ETAP tutorial videos given in the description of this video. But the more important thing here is how to calculate center of rigidity. A very dedicated colleague of mine sent me this uh, plan that he is having difficulty in calculating the center of rigidity for the shown floor plan. The given scenario is shown column sizes as 18 by 18, beam size is 10 by 24, story height is 12 feet center to center. There are three stories in the structure. F3 prime is 3, F5 is 60, wall is 12 inches thick, the wall shown in this corner. The base size is 20 feet by 20 feet. That means that here there are three base each having 20 feet at a total length of 60 feet in Y and X direction of the symmetric building except these two walls causing a centricity in the center of rigidity. So I have to locate the center of rigidity in the tutorial. So the structure I have already modeled using the given scenario. Let's have a look what is the trouble here. I go to display, show tables, click on analysis, results, structure results, center of mass and rigidity. So you see XCR and YCR is the X coordinate and Y coordinate of center of mass and rigidity with respect to the origin. The origin is at 0, 0. If you see the coordinates here, the origin is at 0, 0. And it makes sense that here is a wall that makes a lot, that induces a lot of lateral rigidity in this structure. So the center of rigidity should be somewhere here. But it's not showing here so let me show you how to actually show the center of rigidity go to analyze and click on set load cases to run here is an important option click on calculate diaphragm centers of rigidity by default etabs uncheck this option if you are interested in calculating diaphragm centers of rigidity then you must check this option and click on ok Another important thing is that select the slabs of the structure more specifically when you are interested in calculating diaphragm center of rigidity click on assign shell and go to diaphragms the diaphragm you are using for this purpose must be rigid okay and then click on run Now, now you see the diaphragm center of rigidity is shown as previously explained that it is very justified that the center of rigidity will be shifted towards grid 4D that is due to the stiffness of the wall causing extreme rigid zone over this area and the coordinates are 58 in X 58 and y approximately so if you see the coordinates over here it's 58 in x and 58 in y roughly so the center of rigidity is somewhere here 